decide to pop in real quick to show you guys some greens that I just harvested that I'm getting ready to stir fry. So what these are here are, y'all know I can't pronounce stuff correctly. I'm... This particular leaf is called the amaranth leaf. And throughout the video, I'll be mispronouncing it. So amaranthus leaves, and those are the love lies bleeding variety. And then here are some of the sweet potato vines. And I'll update you guys on those vines um, in the next few days. That container that I showed you guys a couple of videos back, it is full of greens. So this is what I just snatched off a minute ago. And then some Swiss chard, which I've been eating off of this plant over the last couple of weeks too. So this is what I have. And so once I get done chopping everything up, I'll show you what it looks like once I'm done cooking it. like there's two different varieties in there the variety that i ordered from off of hertz garden and then there's a variety that i picked up from what is that store sprouts and then i grew my own slips and see if i remember i'll insert the names <laughs> chart leaves <clears throat> so this is what I'll be stir frying so I'm just gonna use a little bit of green onion and garlic powder I have to go have some fresh garlic I don't know but I'm just gonna keep it simple quick green onion and garlic powder <clears throat> I had made a uh, shepherd's pie yesterday so you know that pretty much consists of mashed potatoes mixed vegetables and ground beef so I have that but I was kind of craving some greens to go along with it which is why I went to go harvest this so that's what I'll be eating and what I'm doing is just rolling up the kale not kale the kale yeah no, Swiss chard. I'm just rolling up the Swiss chard, Swiss chard, and just slicing it like that. And then here are the amaranthus leaves, or I think that's how you say it. So I think I'm just gonna leave these whole. Yeah, so this is pretty much it so if you wanted to you can add a little bit of sesame seed oil soy sauce and some seeds sesame seeds but i'm not going to do that so let me go ahead and give it a taste that was a chart that was good then let's see here this is the amaranthus leaf amaranthus somebody please correct it girl 
So here's that leaf. Let me see what that tastes like. That's really good. It doesn't have any bitter taste or any weird weirdness coming from it. So I like that. Now it's time for the sweet potato leaf. Mm, hot. That's really good. Y'all, if you hadn't tried this, you may want to try it. So, again, this is the amaranthus leaf or amaranthus um, sweet potato leaves, as well as the um, Swiss chard, which everybody knows what that tastes like. So after the taste test, then I'm going to take you outside to show you what the plants actually look like. So here is the Swiss chard that I harvested from. So that's what that looks like. And here are the sweet potatoes that I harvested from. And you can tell these vines are pretty long. So they just start to crawl and sprawl all over the place. So. And then here is the plant that I can't pronounce. As you can see, there's a flower starting to bud. So pretty, but I've plucked it off so I can enjoy the greens. And I have another one, but it's not doing too good. So yeah, y'all, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.